EASA recently introduced proposals for regulations for ground handling at EU airports, and Donata have already come out and said that you know you support the uh, proposed regulations. But how are you going to be working with EASA to ensure that these regulations are implemented to high standards and also to the same extent? Would you welcome standardisation across you know the industry globally as well? Yeah, so I mean, we contributed to the ASA standards uh, through the work of the ASA, which is the uh, Airline Services Association, and, and uh, <clears throat> we're very keen on the introduction of them because I think, you know, setting a minimum standard from a safety point of view, from an operational point of view, you know, is, is something that we as an industry should be extremely focused on. Um, and, uh, you know, we're confident that at Donata, we, um, you know, we already meet those standards. Um, we need to understand a bit more from EASA how they're going to actually regulate and police the standards um, because we want to make sure that that's done in a simple, efficient manner, maybe integrating with some of the process, the assurance processes which already exist um, through you know, the work that we've done with IATA. You know, we have the IGOM, we have ISAGO, so can we integrate the EASA standards and the assurance through those programs in some way um, so it doesn't add additional overhead? But overall, I think it's really important to have these minimal standards in, in airports. They're an extremely dangerous place to operate. Uh, they're extremely complex places to operate, and there's a lot of inefficiencies currently. Um, and I guess that brings me on to your second question, which is, you know, where else would you, would you encourage this to happen? I think in particular in the U.S. right now, I'm worried about ground safety in the U.S. Um, I think that it needs more standardization, more regulation, uh, more assurance uh, to ensure that um, you know people who operate at the airports are properly trained, properly invest in equipment, and make sure that they have um, safe, um, you know, and, and quality processes. Do you think that one of the main impacts of this will be that uh, agencies like the FAA will look at EASA and <coughs> say, look, these are good proposals for regulations. We will implement them as well. Or do you think that that's potentially further down the line in terms of timescale? Well, certainly that's what we're advocating. So through the ASA, we're, we're now turning our attentions to the US and, and you know, um, trying to meet with the FAA to encourage them thinking in a similar fashion. Um, you know, and again, don't reinvent the wheel. There are already standards that have been generated over decades uh, through our work with IATA that, that we can reuse um, for this. Um, and then if we can bring them in line with EASA, then obviously as a global company, we can offer you know, uh, uh, common equipment, common standards of training, uh, common p p policies and procedures, and we don't have to generate ones for the US that are different from Europe. So in an ideal world, yes, a homogenous set of standards globally that we can all work to, and then we can just concentrate on how we deliver them the best way we possibly can. Whether that is actually what will happen will be what we'll be lobbying for. And across the board, ground handlers have welcomed these um, proposed regulations, but why do you think it's taken them so long? Because some have been critical of EASA and said that it has taken a while because they've been lobbying for so many years. What do you think has led to this delay in getting these um, proposed regulations through and you know up and running? Um, it's a question of priority. Uh, you know, priority in aviation has always been in the air. Um, you know, for good reason. Um, so aviation security is, and safety has always always been at the top of. Uh, uh, people's minds, but ground safety has maybe been something that, um, you know, is perceived to be a slightly lower risk um, and, you know, and, and maybe, you know, kind of self-regulated because companies who provide ground services have decent safety management systems and, and, and good training programs. Um, but, you know, as, as, you know, I think the ground handling uh, services and the ground handling has consolidated over the last few years, right, to use last 10 years, say, um, where ground services used to be provided by the airport or it would be provided by the airline, it's now provided by independent world-class companies who expect there to be you know, certain standards provided and therefore it's being pushed much harder now by these big companies uh, to encourage that standardisation. Um, so you know, it's, it's about time that, you know, that, that, that it became important, but you know, it's, it's finally gone up the priority list.